This problem is 471. And what we're looking to find is what resistor across A and B here will absorb the maximum power from the circuit. And what is the power? So we want the resistor and we also want to know what is the power across this terminal. So I think we need to take into account the relationship here where we have the voltage Thevenin is equal to the current Norton times the resistance Thevenin. Because we want to find this resistance, the Thevenin resistance. Because if we find the Thevenin resistance, the max power, the max power is when the resistor AB across AB is equal to the Thevenin resistance. So we want to find this, this Thevenin resistance. So the first step will be to find the Thevenin voltage. Okay, we want to find the Thevenin voltage. And to know the voltage across here, the open circuit voltage, this Thevenin voltage, we need to know what this voltage is here. Right? And that is related to the voltage V0 across this one ohm resistor. So we know that V0 is equal doing a voltage divider. A voltage divider is one over one plus three, the total resistance here of these in series, times the eight volts. Eight volts. And for this, our V naught comes out to one over four times eight. This is two volts. So two volts across here, which then makes this here 120 times two volts. So that becomes 240 volts. So doing our voltage divider, our, our voltage divider again, because these are in series, we know that the voltage AB is equal to this 40, divided by 40 plus 10 times our 240 volts. Okay, but we gotta be careful here because this is actually pointed the opposite direction. So this is negative, this is negative because of the way if it's AB, that's from here to here going this way and what we have here is it's pointed the opposite direction so it's negative negative and that comes out to be negative 192 volts which is then equal to the Thevenin voltage this is the Thevenin voltage so we need that and for step two here we are going to find the, the Norton current, the Norton current here. So we want to find the Norton current for step two, the Norton current. So that's what we're going to try to find. So finding the Norton current, well, let's go back up here and I'm going to erase this and we're going to look at the circuit again. And remember to find the Norton current, we short in between A and B. And that is the Norton current. So in this setup here, this is still, so if this is, this is still 240 volts, this is still 240 volts because this has not changed. So there is no change here. Um, but we've shorted this, so the current through here, this, this current, that is equal to zero 
because all the current is shorted and it goes this way. So here our Norton current is none other than the 240 volts, the negative 240 from here to here divided by 10. So we get the Norton current is, uh, this is kilo ohms, kilo ohms. So the Norton current is 24 milliamps, is negative 24 milliamps. Okay. 240 divided by 10 kilo ohms, that's 10,000 ohms. So 24 milliamps, which is equal to negative point. 0 0.024 amps. Okay, so we have that, and now we can figure out the Thevenin resistance here, the Thevenin resistance, which is equal to the Thevenin voltage divided by the Norton current. We're using this relationship here this relationship. So we have negative 192 volts divided by negative 0 0.024 amps here. And the Thevenin resistance then comes out to be, let's do that quick, 192 divided by 0 0.024 that is 8 kilo ohms, 8,000, which is 8 kilo ohms. So that is our answer for the first part. So we were to find what resistor, and we found that, the resistor. And now we want what is the power, what is the power. And the maximum power is equal to the Thevenin voltage squared divided by four times the Thevenin resistance. So P max here. And what we get is 1.152 watts. So we put in our Thevenin voltage here, which is 192. And then we put in our uh, Thevenin resistance, which is uh, 8 times 10 to the third ohms here, and we get our maximum power of 1.152 watts. And that is the solution to 471.